Singaporeans, beware if you're standing too close to each other. Drones are keeping an eye on you from above and targeting social distancing rule breakers. Singapore's police are testing two automated drones to help enforce social distancing guidelines. The machines are developed by Israel's Aerobotics. My name is Ron Krauss, CEO and co-founder of Aerobotics. In the past six years, me and my team have invented, designed and manufactured the world's first automated drone. The Eye in the Sky robots weigh 22 pounds and are programmed to track anomalies such as gatherings and congregations and stream footage to the police. Aerobotics say they can pinpoint locations and zoom into areas that might not be visible to police officers on foot or in vehicles. It's the first time automated commercial drones have been approved to fly over a major metropolis, according to the company. Uh, I have to say that the Singaporean government is exceptionally innovative and progressive when it comes to adopting technologies and implementing them uh, quickly. I was uh, extremely surprised by their interest and in how quickly they pushed forward the technology. Aerobotics has raised $120 million in funding and invested some $100 million to develop the drones. It's leasing them to Singapore's home team science and technology agency, and also for business and industrial use in Israel and the United States. CEO Krauss said the company is in talks with other cities to deploy the new technology. We want to see these drones in every city in the world. Predominantly, since we believe that uh, the system can really save lives, there are several applications that can relate to that. The simplest one is, you know, if there's a fire somewhere uh, in the city and the drone would usually get there quicker than the fire truck. And being able to transmit video of the fire, of the location to the fire truck before it even gets there, uh, could really save lives. And that applies to additional emergency response applications. So we think and we believe that this technology uh, will become common in every city around the world.